Hey guys, Psychic Pagers here, and welcome back to Let's Review Manga. Today, we are looking at Soul Eater Volume 2. All I can say before we start is let the annoyance commence. So, this manga starts off with Death saying that Dr. Frankenstein, the person who's responsible for turning Sid into a zombie, is the strongest meister to graduate from the DWMA. Kid says, Kid then says that they will all die fighting him. So Soul, Maka, Blackstar, and Tsubaki arrive at Stein's lab. Stein then introduces himself, and as a powerful meister, he can see souls and tell personalities from the souls. Blackstar then somehow appears behind Stein where he can easily reap Stein's soul and yells that the conversation should be about him. Hooray for stupidity, Blackstar! You're the worst assassin ever! So, because Blackstar's an idiot, Stein beats him easily while sitting in a chair. Just as Stein says he is starting his experiment, we cut to Maka's dad drinking with Blair. He then gets reminded of the horror of being Stein's weapon and having experiments done on him while he was sleeping. To put this in short, Stein is crazy. Stein then wants to dissect Maka because she is the daughter of the woman that took his test subject from him. So Maka gets scared into doing a stupid head-on attack. And, as he starts marking Maka with a marker, Blackstar shows up and saves Maka. But, the, but gets majorly injured in the process. Maka, in turn, can now see Stein's soul, and is, is bigger than he is. Maka says that they can't win, and then we cut to a lovely scene where Kid thinks he forgot to fold the end of the toilet paper into a triangle. Oh my goodness! Why? This is so dumb to bring up in the middle of a fight scene. Since this is brought up, I'll just say that Monster Mizume 2 is my next review. See, it makes no sense in this context. Kid almost has no impact on the story in the parts of the anime I've seen, and it isn't better here. Note that I said almost. So, Soul talks to Maka and snaps her out of her fear, and they try Soul Residence again. This time, they almost get it. So Stein stops the attack, breaks it, and now Maka is barely conscious. Stein then reaches for Maka, but Soul guards her. Stein then reaches for Soul, and he congratulates them on passing the remedial exam. Everyone is discouraged about this, but they are all okay, but tired. Back at the DWMA, it turns out that Stein is now the teacher replacing Sid. This ends the first chapter of this volume. So, this chapter loved to jump around to different situations that didn't matter. So, back to Monster Mizume Volume 2. Poppy is on the cover. And Testament Sister New Devil Volume 3 is coming out in August, I believe. And this is this is before I figured out that um, Testament Sister New Devil is coming out August 9th, I think. And this is going to be uploaded in September. <clears throat> well, August 15th, sorry. See, that is what this chapter did. It jumped around so much that this fight scene seemed... just seemed wasted. I hate when manga do this. I wish they would have just let the fight scene go and leave it be. If you do this, people won't get... won't get... Eh. If you leave the fight scene be, people won't get confused by reading it for the first time. Now onto the second chapter, but first, I have a second channel called Psychic Pictures Plays where I only do Let's Plays. So this chapter starts with Kid being three hours late to his first day of school because of symmetry. Ugh. 
So, in Stein's class, Stein sees that Soul and Blackstar aren't in class. Tsubaki then has a flashback that Blackstar says he's now Soul's Meister. For some reason that isn't explained. Why is this flashback here? How did they come to the conclusion in the first place? Is it because they're friends? What is going on here? If you have a flashback, it should have already happened, and either the audience knows it, or it explains something that about later in the story in detail. Not be just for one panel. Anyway, Blackstar is jealous that Kid is attending the school and is the talk of the school, so he decides to assassinate him. How does he fail this time? Well, after we get a scene of Kid's idiotic symmetry stunt, again, Blackstar gloats about himself, again, but breaks a piece of the school off, much to the dismay of Kid, because his school isn't symmetrical anymore. Like I said in my Soul Eater Volume 1 review, interesting reason to fight. While they are fighting, we get a boring lecture from Stein in the middle of it. Yawn! So, it appears Soul and Blackstar's soul wavelengths don't match up. So they fight some more and the two have a bromance moment. And Kid politely shoots them both in the face. Well, that was nice of him. Okay, they fight more, Soul barely misses Kid and it in his scythe form, and Kid wins by performing Soul Residence. Kid then flops on the ground, fainted. Why? Because when Soul did his last attack, he cut off some of Kid's hair, making it unsymmetrical. What a stupid kid! So Tsubaki and Blackstar make up, and Soul and Maka make up. Death then comes to pick up his son, and that ends the second chapter in this volume. So far, this has been annoyance on top of annoyance on top of annoyance. The three most annoying characters fought, and the second most annoying character, and the worst character flaw in the manga won. So far, I'm not impressed. Everything is predictable. Alright, in the next chapter, we meet Medusa, a witch, and Krona and Ragnarok, a Meister and Weapon Fusion. Krona, I think, is an interesting character, but still isn't one of my favorites. Interesting concept, but horrid character flaw with saying, I don't know how to deal with this. So, we see a church full of people that are bad, that are all bad. Maka then takes the soul of a killer. Just as they are about to leave, Maka senses every soul in the building Krona is in. They go to investigate, but just as they arrive, Maka senses all the souls are gone, but two, Krona and Ragnarok. The two enter the building to see only Krona and Maka figures out that Krona and Ragnarok are occupying the same body. We then cut to Maka's dad in the nurse's office. He wants to visit Maka, but needs to have his broken heart healed. He is afraid of Dr. Stein, and guess who he runs into? Maka! Just kidding, it's Dr. Stein. So, Stein wanted to see Maka's dad to say that the Demon Sword has appeared, aka Krona. Cutting back to Maka vs. Krona, Ragnarok shows up by coming out of Krona's back. This is really creepy. Ragnarok then starts beating Krona's head for some reason, I don't know. Krona and Maka then start fighting, and Maka hits Krona straight in the neck and sees that she can't cut his head off and that Krona has black blood. His blood itself is a weapon that can't be penetrated by Maka. So Krona does a scream residence, and now Maka can't block because it will hurt Soul. Backed, backed up against a door, Maka can't do anything. Krona raises his sword, and Soul transforms into his human form and blocks the blade with his body, sparing Maka's life. This ends the chapter. 
Okay, when it doesn't jump around much, the story is pretty good. This story actually is very important, because in the anime, this sets off a chain of reaction of events, and it was cool. Speaking of cool, this is the first cool thing Soul has done in the manga. So, on to the last chapter. Soul falls to the ground, Maka is dumbstruck and can't move, Krona starts his final attack, and a scythe impales Krona. This causes Maka's dad and Dr. Stein to help out. To help out. The two get ready to fight and state that the reason the DWMA was built was because of Krona. They fight Krona, and just as the fight seems to be over, Stein gets impaled from behind due to Krona's black blood. The fight continues, and Stein ends up victorious. Medusa then intervenes, takes Krona away, and the rest head back to DWMA to the DWMA to treat Soul. At least this manga doesn't leave injured people injured, right? Right? So it seems Soul will be fine, but some black blood got mixed with Soul's blood. Only time will tell what will happen. Maka is sad about what happened to Soul, and is having a touching moment that needs to be silent. When suddenly the King of Stupid barges through the door and shakes Soul to try to wake him up. Of course, I'm talking about Blackstar. Tsubaki's also there, but is quiet about the incident. Also, entering the room is the witch, I mean, nurse, Medusa. She also brings Maka's dad by her leg. That ends the volume. Okay, when this manga had a fight scene where all the main characters were there, it was good. AKA the Demon Sword fight. Other than that, it was poorly written, not the right tone, or just a mess. True, if this manga focused on one thing more than comedy, it would be good. But since comedy, or in this case stupidity, is frequent, it takes away the good drama or good fight scenes. I did not like this manga, but... <sighs> I'll push through and try to finish the series. Next up is Monster Mizume Volume 2. This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.